Hey guys, this is Shady. So with the spring patch came a lot of changes to weapons and I found myself playing around with different weapons and attachments to try to find what worked best for me after the patch. So I came up with the Ace, the AEK and the AN94 as my top 3 assault rifles. Now the Scar is an amazing weapon but it's actually banned in competitive play so I didn't put that in there because it was counterproductive for me to use it. So obviously if you're not a competitive player or you just like to use different weapons that you don't use in competitive, definitely give it a try if you can land those bullets because it only has 20 in the clip but it hits like a truck so you can still take down multiple targets fairly easily. I didn't put the M16 or the M416 in this because I still feel that the Ace is a little bit stronger especially with the 35 bullets in a clip since the latest patch. It's probably the most all round weapon. So starting off with the A94, this gun was introduced in the latest spring patch. It's pretty much an all round beast. It's only 600 RPM in fully auto but in burst mode it's actually up to 1200 RPM if you can burst it consistently. So definitely take use of the burst mode. So initially I found this gun was incredibly strong at long range and also medium. The only thing I didn't like was since the patch there's added spread to when you're strafing and shooting and I found it became really inconsistent and it was more noticeable than most assault rifles at those engagements when you're on the move. I used this gun for quite a wee while, I used it in competitive, I used it in public. I noticed that you pretty much would not lose any gunfights at long range or even medium range if you're not on the move. So with the two bullets it's rather easy control if they're behind cover and you should be taking down multiple enemies fairly quickly. The only thing I didn't like about the weapon was that I would lose a lot of gunfights up close even to something like an Ace or an M416. I always noticed that I'd burst them twice and hit them with 3 or 4 bullets and then I would lose the gunfight. Because obviously those two bullets are coming out at a higher rate than 1200 RPM and there's a small delay between bursts. I'd also struggle to track people having to burst, shoot and move at the same time and I don't know if it was something I wasn't used to but I just found the weapon didn't work perfect, perfectly for me compared to some of the other weapons. So since the spring patch there's actually been quite a lot of changes to how the grips work on your weapon. So now if you have a grip attached to something like the AN94 or any gun in the game, it actually takes longer for your spread to reset. So you'll notice this quite a lot when you're actually bursting or micro bursting at targets. So if you're using a higher rate RPM gun, which you're going to be usually taking on people pretty close, you won't notice it so much. So you can actually still run them something like a stubby grip. On something like the AN94, which is a little bit more of a long range or medium range weapon, Using a grip can actually affect the accuracy quite substantially. So I found using nothing on the gun whatsoever was actually pretty good because it didn't have the disadvantages of using a grip. Or you just put a heavy barrel if you have really good recoil control and maybe a lower sensitivity. I was finding it a little bit difficult to take people off head glitches at range with just the heavy barrel. So using an angle grip on it as well is actually pretty efficient. Especially at first when you're using the weapon, if you're trying to get used to a heavy barrel, it's quite good to actually put a grip that can actually help you control the weapon. So then you can actually get used to the gun characteristics. It's all like putting training wheels onto a bike when you're a kid. This makes things a lot easier to learn. So in this case, putting a grip, such as like an angle grip, can make it a lot easier to control. So obviously it's going to be less accurate with the grip, but you're still going to be learning how to move the weapon, how it handles, sort of situations that you can win and what you can't win. And then obviously after a couple of days maybe of use, you can take the training wheels off. In this case, maybe it could be an angle grip or maybe even an ergo grip. So the Ace-23 is still probably the most well-rounded gun in Battlefield 4. It has a 770 RPM, and since the latest spring patch in there, it has 35 bullets and a magazine, which makes it incredibly easy to take out multiple targets very quickly. It's also a beast at medium range, and it's very proficient at long range also. It will only get beaten out by guns such as the M16, the SCAR, or now the AN-94, which is quite a lot better than the Ace at range. I'm going to be using this weapon on some maps. So in competitive, I'd use it on maps like Siege of Shanghai and Paracel. Because a lot of the targets that you're going to be engaging are going to be behind cover and also at ranges. I could use the AN-94 or maybe even the M16, but you're still going to have to be able to get into the close range gunfights if they plant a bomb site or if you have multiple people rushing you. And that's where I feel the Ace is a little bit stronger than those other weapons. One of the disadvantages of the Ace-23 is that since the spring patch there's more spread when you're on the move and shooting. So I noticed that up close and at medium range sometimes, you notice that the gun is actually quite inconsistent and it gets affected heavily by on the move. I tried to use the Ugo to counteract this, but it still feels really strange and I felt that the high RPM guns, for me personally, are a lot more efficient up close. Because obviously I like to throw good players aim off on the move, so jumping corners doesn't really work with Ace-23 and it's not as consistent for me. I'm personally going to be sticking to the AK as much as I possibly can. Obviously I spoke about on the couple maps I'll probably be using the Ace, but the AK for me works better for my game style. And its ability to take down multiple targets incredibly quickly and it also can give you the advantage of gunfights that you shouldn't win up close. 
Before the spring patch, I was actually running the angle grip on the AK. It made the gun pretty well rounded, made it a little bit more efficient at longer ranges as well. So you could use it up close, medium range, and then it was still pretty bad at long range, but it actually could work a little bit once you got used to it. So since the spring patch, I've actually been running the stubby grip, and I found for me that works the best. I tried to find that, I tried to use the Ugo grip at first, but it just didn't quite work. It didn't have the accuracy of the old AEK, and I found that using the stubby grip, it actually made it feel very similar to the pre-patch AEK for those first 10 bullets up close. So that's why basically I'm using the stubby grip at the moment. So that's my brief rundown of the top three assault rifles since the spring patch and how grips affect your weapon and what attachments you might better use on your guns. So if you have any questions about this video or you'd actually like to see a little bit more of a detailed explanation of how to shoot your weapon after the spring patch, I can do that. Also, if you have any questions about this video or anything that I should know, leave it down below. And as always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.